major decision points all kinds of decisions that a firm takes would primarily fall under three major decision points the first one would be the investment decision the second one would be the financing division and the third one would be the dividend division decision right so these are the three decision points investment decision financing decision and dividend decision these three decision points basically form bulk of what we are going to study around corporate finance right let's understand that so when you talk about the investment decision it's the idea of where do you allocate resources so allocation of resources is what is going to come here right that's why that's that's because resources are limited there is only a finite amount of money every business has opportunities however are unlimited you could use that money in marketing you could use that money in putting a new factory you could use that money in variety of projects which are available the decision on where to deploy these resources is the investment decision now the logic of the investment decision could be to maximize revenue maximize share price maximize profit uh, maximize societal impact of the firm but any decision that is under the purview of allocation of resources of a company is going to be under the investing decision right so that's what is going to be called as the investing decision that a firm takes then the next question comes is where do we raise money from for all these investments that we were doing so these resources included a resource such as cash where do we raise the money from how do we get that money what should be in other words the optimal debt and equity mix right so the mix of debt and equity and the optimal mix at that which kind of maximizes the objective function that we have in corporate finance that decision would fall under the purview of what is called as the financing decision right and finally once the firm has kind of taken the investment decision they have decided on a certain debt and equity number there is going to be a decision on how much of the firm's funds would be reinvested in the business reinvestment would happen if the firm perceives that there is a lot of growth and how much should be returned to the owners which is essentially both in a sense if there is less growth then you return the money and in other word increase the returns for the owners of business or shareholders of the business this decision would form under the purview would come under the purview of what is called as the dividend decision how much of the profitability of the firm has to be distributed in the context of dividend obviously dividends are the opposite of reinvestment so how much of the money is reinvested in the business is a part of this decision which is the dividend decision so primarily these are going to be the three decision points which we are going to discuss in a lot of detail understand what kind of objectives they are trying to fulfill